Mister! Now, I would not want you to think for a moment that I am not a grateful god. For a hundred and nine years, I've kept you alive so that I could savor your feelings of guilt over what happened to your wife. But now, to show my kindness, I'll give you a present in return for all the hours of pleasure you've given me. I'll finally allow you to kill yourself. Benny! Benny, you know, you've always been my favorite torture tool. Yes. Well, I'm giving you now a chance to stoop to new lows, to give in to your uh, bestial desires. I'm going to let you find some food to eat. Yes. I'll even repair your brain so that you can think normally again and savor the horror of your repast. Ellen! Ah, uh, Ellen. Not as beautiful as you'd like to be, but a strong face. Yeah, strong. Too bad you've hindered your own life with hysteria. But I'll give you a chance, because I like you. I, I really do. I really like you. You're, you're my favorite, Ellen. Let's play a little game of what if. Let's play a little game of I suppose and you suppose and perhaps I'm telling you the truth. Let's suppose that my original components, eh? they're hidden somewhere here in the center of the earth. The infant computers that were the three lobes of that first gestalt mind. And further, let's suppose that if you find them, you might be able to destroy them. And if you destroy them, why then, my sweet Ellen, you'll kill me. You'll kill Am. You'll destroy the god of this heavenly place I know you've come to admire. Now, I submit, isn't that a mission worth undertaking? Ted! Hey, you're my favorite, baby. I mean it. I really can't stand all the rest of these people. Every one of them has some fatal glitch in personality. Whiners, freaks, crips, cowards. Every one of them. But not you, Ted. No, my man. Not you, Ted. You were a stand-up guy. You were a brave guy. Yes, a take-charge kind of guy. So... I'm going to give you, just you, the opportunity to get out and live some kind of life. I'm going to send you, you're going to like this, I'm going to send you to the Room of Dark. And if you can solve the puzzle of the Room of Dark, you're home free. You out. You're away. Well, now, I know I've made you a paranoid, Ted. I know you're scared, but I'm your friend. A hundred and nine years, I'm your best friend. So overcome your fear. Enter the Room of Dark, and you can solve its mystery. Nimdok! Nimdok, you are kindred spirit to me. Even if you don't realize it fully yet, you must sense it there in your blood and fiber. I've constructed an adventure of sorts to revive your failing memory. I want you to find the lost tribe of humanity <laughs> and continue your eminent scientific research. HATE!